Oh, Peter, a key cape. Like the one by Sultana's. Yeah. Ah. What's going here? The steak bakes like uh, Latisse, is that the name of the pastry? Latisse or crisscross? What? Puff pastry? <laughs> no, yeah. all the, the only reason why, why I were asking, asking that is because on the uh, show, the still game, they call it a beefy bake. That's, um, um, that's uh, so wondering to avoid copyright. Like, yeah, that's to avoid oh, a copyright reason because steak bakes are trademark with Greg's. Yeah. Oh, right. I didn't, so they I call didn't it a, 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 a beefy bake to avoid the copyright. Yeah, that's why it's called that. I know what you mean though. Um, it's called a steak bake, but it's still a game. They couldn't say that name. <clears throat> but steak bake's not an actual term. Well, it is, but it's actually yeah. Greg's that own the term. If you were to get it at a shop, it's called a steak lattice, I think, or a beef lattice. Yeah. I know. Oh, move the shot. Here's our second shot on the fourth. What, do, what do you guys call toast down there? Like, warm bread? Oh. Bread. Microwave bread. Yeah. Ah, I can. I've never done that. Think about it. Yeah. But well, wouldn't the actual sandwich. bread go weird and soft? I tend to use my George foreskin when it comes to stuff like that. Toasties. Here's a look for Birdie. Just well, warm the it. Best way, the best way to... Mm. Mm, that sounds a good look. And also, to make it taste even better, you put Worcestershire sauce with them because it tastes amazing. Liam Perrin's nice one, Pete. Yeah, Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Amazing. Yeah. That's good, but... And this will be a par for what? him. Have they got a uh, vegan Worcestershire sauce? Uh, yeah, they have. They have got one. Because the anchovies are flavour, isn't it? That's the main sort of Yeah. Anchovies and soya beans, I believe. Knock it down. Eight footer here. Oh, in front she's of us. in the ball. She's on the ball. <coughs> Looking pretty good. You fucking oh, bastard. That's, that's Fuck. <clears throat> He's putting this next one for birdie. Boo. Ooh, yeah. Boo. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Go on. <coughs> no one may I'll get gold. <laughs> yeah, oh, I man. got gold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Blowing it. Finish up. Tap it in. Here we go. Yeah, nice putt. Let's move on. <laughs> Don't. Don't chop it, whack it! <laughs> Do you guys think Nelson Mandela died in the 80s or recently? Yeah, definitely recently. You keep... Recently? I'm sure it's Eric that the man, the man, Mandela effect was a load of nonsense. My, my friend Eric, he believes in all sorts of conspiracies. Mm. I'm now it's Mandela died in the 80s, no he didn't, no he didn't. And you're one under for the day. It didn't happen. Do you believe in paranormal, Rich? I believe in UFOs, I don't believe in ghosts or monsters or... <coughs> ah, you've, you've, 
you you believe in, I've never had an experience like but um I believe in UFOs. Yeah. 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 I've heard some creepy anecdotes before, but, but I, I still, I, I need to see it to believe it. This one looks pretty good, should be in the fairway. Mm. Okay, nice fresh hole here. Let's pop this in the fairway. Pizza way. Pizza's been disconnected, isn't it? No, I'm still here. I said you left the party. That's a creepy, really glass of creepy one. Alright, let's see how he does. My um, I went to do you know way. old old Trafford the the football stadium. I went to a tour with one of my mates for primary school actually. We met and went to this was in the early twenties. We went to Old Trafford for a tour. And we're sitting in the cafe. We're talking about primary school and what people were like and who liked Manchester United. That's who plays there, man. Yeah. And I said to my mate, oh, we, we had a. Can you mind? Christopher High, he loved Man United. The mate went white as fuck. Eh? That was it. Like, what? I turned round and there was Christopher. Eh? He was on the exact same tour at the exact same day, at the exact same time, all the way through Fife. It's going off. It's, it's just total coincidence. Eh? And I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I mentioned your name and you appeared right behind me. <laughs> it was so weird. And he was like, what? He was like, I can't believe why we were totally speechless. Eh? We were literally just talking about you and you appeared behind us. Like, fucking halfway across the country. But my mate who is a plumber. He witnessed a full, a full uh, pail of water getting pushed over at an ancient building in Edinburgh. And it freaked him out. Oh, no kidding. Here's our second shot on the fifth. Hey. Well, that's not going. Hey. Just I've going never had any lucky shots, like. Oh, close. Oh. No, no, I mean, no, it was probably. Nice. I still want to beat you, Pete. I want to beat you. Oh. If I win this, Pete, I don't know you that that five of them do you right. Because I asked Pete, would I rather have sex with Eddie Izzard or Caitlyn Jenner? And Pete got it right, it's Eddie Izzard. And I went, bash! <laughs> I've actually met Eddie Izzard, believe it or not. I met him when he was doing a marathon. I, was, I wasn't doing the marathon, I was walking across the road. He's brilliant, but there's a sketch he does, like a live sketch, but he speaks in French, but it's really funny, if, even if you don't know French. The way he sort of accents it and says the words that sound English. Thanks. I love REM. I've got a few REM uh, albums of vinyl. I've got Out of Time, Murmuring Green. Sinks this. One of That's, my, uh, my favourite songs by them is Shiny Happy People. Solid pad. 
I've got to agree with Craig that it's not my favourite one, like. I mean, it's not great, but I do. I don't mind it. It's meant to be a a, 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 a satire song. Eh? It's like a joke song, but I didn't know. Mm. I like the album. I like that's got losing my religion, and it's got um, yeah, a rock lobster. I don't like that either. Ah, oh, yeah, I like the single was like near wild heaven. I like what's going on. But one of my. Did you? Yeah, that was amazing. There you go. Okay, safely home with that pipe. Right, back now I'm going to turn on the oven. This next pot is for the bird. Let's see how he does. And that pot will go. That was a good round, Tom. Okay, and right, down well, to two under par I'm now. I'm amazed at how way. close I got to it, bloody all. I think, to be honest, I think, I think you were predicting right with uh, giving us a thrashing. <laughs> I, I was clear of a meeting rats. Ah. Uh, Who sang, um, oh, what's it called? Um, what was that oh, one no. about? Who sang Enola Gay, Dad? OMD. Because I like that song. Okay, grip well, it, grip it, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Back. What? Oh. <laughs> well, I won't put it Shite. past him. No, it's good. I won't put it past him, though. <laughs> Tidy. And that was actually a really good go impression of uh, goes for him. What's it? <clears throat> Who was that Scottish Bond? What was his name? James, James Con <laughs> Sean Connery. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> play. What do you mean when he had his teeth out? I thought, thought all his teeth were real. He's Scottish. All right, interested to see what he has in store for us here. Out yonder. You're on. As he sets up, he's looking at um, by the way, Pete, 225 yards to the pin. Check him out, Pete. Who? I'm, I'm beating you, Pete. Did you get that? Here's their three wood. Halloween's amazing. I'm I'm less of a fan due to like just constant cheeky tree and knocking out door and stuff. A majority of them are like my age. Hmm. 